As the Democrat Party goes socialist and anti-American, the political lines are being redrawn out there. Joining me now is one man who decided to change parties because he couldn't follow the Democrats down their dark road. Newly minted Republican, Texas State Representative Ryan Guillen. Mr. Guillen, great to, great to have you here. I, you know, I'm sure that this decision, you didn't make it lightly. What particular issues inspired you to make this switch? Well, thank you, Chris, for having me on. Um, you know, I think the it's obvious. Um, you know, I've, I've, everything that I've ever done, uh, most of the things that I've ever done, uh, things like uh, cutting taxes and creating jobs and, and the things that we stand for in South Texas, uh, like protecting our oil field jobs and supporting our troops and our law enforcement and securing the border, um, uh, working to defend our property rights, our Second Amendment rights and the lives of, of the unborn. Um, those things, uh, those are the values that, that we hold dear, that I hold dear. Uh, those are the values of most South Texans, and so that's why I had to make the switch. Well, let me ask you about your district, you know, because as you know, Democrats, uh, they're going anti-cop, anti-Jewish, anti-rule of law, anti-freedom policies out there. How are, how are the voters in your district processing? Are they following the Democrats, or are they are they looking for a change like, like you were? Well, I believe... I believe I'm, I'm doing what they uh, expect me to do. Um, uh, yeah, we're, we're very, uh, we're very pro-law enforcement. Uh, we're very uh, pro-life and uh, pro-oil field um, and pro-troop. And, um, and that, that's not just me, that's, that's the folks back home. And so uh, I think that we're doing the right thing here. I think that they believe that I'm doing the right thing, and so uh, I'm really excited. Yeah, and everything you just described, <laughs> if they're all pro all of that stuff, and then, of course, that, that, that's not where the Democrat Party is. According to a, a survey by Rice University, your voting record, one of the most conservatives of any of the elected House Democrats uh, this year, 2020, you were elected with a 17-point margin at the same time President Trump in your district favored uh, by a 13-point margin. That's how, what he, how he was elected there in that district. Did redistricting play at all uh, uh, a decision in uh, influencing your decision here? And how has your community responded to you becoming a Republican? Uh, now, you know, um, I think I've had some great responses. Uh, I've had tons of calls and tons of texts, uh, some of which I haven't had chance to, uh, to respond back to. Uh, but I think that it's been very, very positive. Um, I think folks uh, were already uh, supporting me because they know where I stand. Uh, they know uh, that I, I, I represent them uh, like they expect me to. And, uh, and so I think that uh, I really believe that um, we're doing the right thing and that they're excited. I'm excited. And I think um, uh, as we go forward, the, I'm looking forward to not having to uh, buck my party uh, to vote right. the way I vote. Well, last thing, I only got about 30 seconds left. Do you think you're going to be the last one? Do you think you're the last person who was a Democrat to switch parties? Or do you see a trend here? Yeah, no, I definitely see a trend. I mean, I don't know how long it'll be, but, uh, but yeah, there's, there's something happening in South Texas and, um, and for me, the most important thing has always been uh, to do the job that I was sent to do, uh, to keep the values of the folks that sent me here at, as a top priority. And I think that, um, you know, I'm going to continue to do that. And I know others will have to follow. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.